Okay, so before you continue on with this video, you should have this in front of you, which is the chapter 11, section two review. So it has a graphic organizer on both sides. So there are two pages, you can do two separate pages or do it front and back, but you should have this printed out um, before you watch this video. Now, if you don't have a printer or have run out of printer ink or something like that, you can recreate it on a piece of notebook paper, so that's fine. So, but maybe have it in front of you while you're watching this video and then you can copy it down. Okay, so before we dive into section two's content, let's review where we left off. So Texas is a new republic, Sam Houston was elected president, and there were a lot of problems um, for the new republic. Um, uh, there were some tensions with the native Texans because Sam Houston had tried to create a, a treaty, peace treaty with them and promised them land, but then Congress didn't want to ratify that, that treaty. And so they didn't want the, the natives to have that land because they wanted the Anglo settlers to get that land. Um, they still had tensions with Mexico. Um, they had problems getting other countries to recognize them as an independent nation and also um, financial problems. They had accrued a lot of debt from the revolution and so, and they didn't have any money to pay it off. So Sam Houston had a two year presidency and he really pushed for annexation. He really wanted um, Texas to become part of the United States. And um, that was not happening as fast as he would like. Um, the United States didn't want to add another slave state. And at that time, Texas was still a slave state. Um, so they're still on their own. But remember, he only had a two year term. And so now the reins have been handed over to Mirabu Lamar. So what I wanted you guys to think about while you were reading this or um, was how were Sam Houston and Mirabu Lamar different from each other. And um, on this graphic organizer here, you see that there were several categories that I wanted you to uh, briefly write down um, how they were different. So first of all, Sam Houston. Um, remember, as I said, he actually worked to keep peace with the natives. So worked to keep peace with the natives. Okay, remember he tried to um, establish a peace treaty um, and this was during the Texas Revolution. So in 1836, um, a peace treaty with the natives promising them that if they did not start any wars, if they kept peace, then they would be able to keep the land in East Texas. And so he worked to maintain peace with them. Um, Mirabu Lamar, on the other hand, did not. He actually fought with the natives and really tried to drive them out of Texas. So tried to drive out all natives from Texas. So that's a huge difference between Sam Houston and Mirabu Lamar. Now, next category, Mexico. Sam Houston, if you remember, he actually worked to keep peace with Mexico. In fact, there were other people that um, came a little too late to the revolution and they still wanted to fight with Mexico and um, he did not want them to. He wanted to maintain peace with Mexico. Mirabel Lamar, on the other hand, actually did things to aggravate tensions between Mexico and Texas. Um, you may have remember when you were reading that he sent the Texas Navy to actually help some rebels um, who were rebelling against the Mexican government, sent them down into Mexico, and that increased tensions. So we can just write here, he increased tensions. With Mexico. All right? All right, annexation. What did Sam Houston want? He really pushed for annexation. And so did many of the colonists. So pushed for annexation to the US. 
and remember he really wanted um, Texas to become part of the United States because he thought that would really help solve a lot of Texas's problems, allow the bigger, more established government handle the debt, handle all of these problems that they're having with the natives. Um, he really thought that would help solve a lot of Texas's problems. Mirabu Lamar, um, he didn't really care about becoming part of the United States. He actually um, wanted Texas to remain independent, just remain an independent republic. So, um, wanted Texas to stay independent. He also wanted to expand Texas's borders. He wanted it, um, it to be bigger than what it already was. He actually wanted to expand its borders into New Mexico. Um, so, and expand Texas's borders. Okay. All right, money. So Sam Houston was actually very conservative. Um, and he spent very little money. Um, he really tried to do things like um, increase customs duties and taxes in order to pay down the debt. And he tried to limit government spending so that the debt would not get any higher. So spent little money. Um, and then you can just write here customs duties and taxes to pay off debt. And um, the public debt at that time was about a million dollars after the, the revolutionary, the, the Texas Revolution. Okay, so let me just write here, one million dollars. Mirabu Lamar, on the other hand, spent lots of money on expeditions, on battles with natives, and um, that increased the debt pretty significantly. So he spent lots of money and increased the debt. And the, that was about $7 million, which back then was a lot of debt. For a country. All right, last category, personality. What were they like as people, as leaders? Um, Sam Houston was, um, he wore flashy clothes. Remember that uh, political cartoon that we saw of him? Um, he wore uh, buckskin. Um, so flashy clothes. And he was described as having a lot of frontier boldness. So a tough guy. I mean, he won the Battle of San Jacinto in 18 minutes, right? Mirabu Lamar, on the other hand, was quiet. He read books and he wrote poetry. Now remember, you can always pause if I'm going too fast for you. So even if I erase the board before you have everything written down, just pause it before I erase everything, which I'm about to do now because we're about to go on to the other side. Okay. 